Good morning, everybody, and congratulations on being accepted. You're all right on pace to, to be another success story. Um, my name is John Doyle. I'm a senior political science major from Poughkeepsie, New York. Has anybody ever heard of Poughkeepsie? I have a lot of love for my, my little hometown. Um, so my first memory of UMBC was sitting in the same building where you're sitting right now, listening to Dr. Rabowski at convocation. And one thing I distinctly remember him telling us, above all else, was to savor, as he would say, to savor. I can't grasp but He's an inspiring guy, and I can't say it the way he does. But to savor our time at UMBC and the opportunities we've been given. And I tried to listen. I was young, but I tried. And uh, so when I think back now about my four years at UMBC, it usually plays back as a montage of my favorite memories, the experiences that I savored the most. And I think it's only right to try and convey my time here as a series of these intense snapshots. They, they are what speak to the limitless opportunities that UMBC offers and to my own personal magical time that I've had here. And as you listen, I think you'll see how all these different experiences underscore my own personal evolution as I developed my interests and aspirations. So I think of first coming here and being on the baseball team my freshman year, of the practices stretching deep into the night and the road trips stretching across the East Coast, all while bonding with my teammates and trying to keep up with my schoolwork. Then, all of a sudden, sophomore year, I'm sitting in a row house in West Baltimore listening to five eight-year-old girls belt out songs from Dream Girls. It was family night at an after-school program that I was co-coordinating through an internship. The fall of my junior year, I was working with refugees from Uganda, the Congo, Somalia, and other countries all across Africa while studying abroad in a city called Durban in South Africa. I was interning with an organization called Lawyers for Human Rights and was working specifically on a refugee and migrant rights project. I was in a small office on the outskirts of the city, yet I was writing reports and recommendations based on UN mandates. It was an incredibly humbling experience to be 20 years old and to have all these people with heroic stories that you know, most of us can't even imagine to actually you know, look to you and, and have faith in a system that may be able to help them. And that was the moment when I realized that you know, law has such an important role in our society, and it was when I decided that becoming a lawyer would be the most fulfilling career for me. Thankfully, UMBC has a terrific internship, legal internship program. So next semester, I found myself sitting in the Baltimore Penitentiary talking with an inmate who was being tried for the death penalty. I was interning at the Capital Defense Division of the Maryland Public Defender's Office. I spent four months working on this client's case, filing subpoenas, drafting motions, and strategizing the case with the attorney. I don't know where else I would have had an opportunity like that. While in South Africa, I also became interested in sustainable development. And last summer, it's filled with memories of waking up every morning at 6 and commuting to DC for an internship with the US Green Building Council, where I got to speak with youth leaders from colleges across the country and help develop the Green Building Council's Green Campus Campaign. And I'm personally very proud of UMBC's efforts to become more sustainable. This winter, I found myself freezing in Poland, drafting policy position papers at the UN Conference on Climate Change on issues relating to climate regulation. I was a youth delegate with Sustain Us, the US Youth Network for Sustainable Development. And we were advocating for a bold, science-based, and equitable climate agreement. And then, of course, there were the dozens of all-nighters in between the hours of sitting in professors' offices, the community building in the dorms, the group projects, and the countless nights hanging out with friends as we explored Baltimore. And throughout all these incredible experiences, I was so proud to find myself, you know, finally working with a sense of urgency that I've seen a lot of my role models work with. And I realized that that's the urgency of striving for your work ethic to reflect your respect for the issues that you have the privilege to work on. And UMBC has led me to a place where I'll be able to continue to work on the things that I care about. I'd be lying if I said that this moment right now isn't one that I'm also savoring. I was recently accepted to Georgetown and Duke for law school. And it's... <laughs> it's such a rewarding feeling to know that you're on track to do what you want to do in life 
to know that you will be able to apply your passion to, to what you care about most. And I really hope you guys get to have that feeling yourselves. That is what UMBC offers you, the opportunity to position yourself, to poise yourself, to do whatever you want. And if you're like me and you don't know what it is that you want to do when you're going into college, it's the perfect environment to develop your interests and find what you're passionate about. I just urge you, wherever you go, to find something you care about and work with a sense of urgency. You guys are going to school at such an incredible time, right? The globe is warming, the economy is going through circus hoops, you know, we're at war, there's so much wealth and poverty, diseases and cures, crises and opportunities. But so long as you work with a sense of urgency, you're implying two things. First, that you're optimistic that things can change. And second, that you believe that you can be an agent of that change, that your time is worthwhile. So as you continue your college search, please take from here that UMBC as an institution and its students work with that passion and that sense of urgency that you've heard all across the stage. And we really hope you'll join us.